What have you been up to while your better half wasn't around? So you have watched The Office again, but this time with a regular Coke instead of a diet. Ooh, you're such a risk taker, Mark. I like that in a man. We've already finished negotiations, so I'll be home sooner than you think. I took a bunch of pics, just like you asked. Let me send you one right now. What do you want to see? My photo in the mountains or from the pool? I forgot to say that hotel had a luxurious swimming pool. Yeah, sure. You just want to see the pool, right? And seeing me in a swimsuit has absolutely nothing to do with it. <laughs> you should have gone with me. I know that you don't like meeting new people, but... I'm worried about you, Mark. I'm pretty much the only person you talk to. It's Christmas Eve, and no one's even congratulated you yet. Did someone write you a personal letter? That's so cool! Open it up and tell me what's inside. It's near the entrance, right? I wonder what's inside the envelope. You keep your mail at the front door, right? You lost the letter, haven't you? I would laugh at you if I didn't lose my phone around four times a day. You need to look near the front door. It must be there. Well, who's it from? What did they write? That's so nice. I thought you stopped communicating with them. But it's so good that I was wrong. By the way, about communication, please go up to your bedroom window. You won't see anything from the first floor. Go upstairs and look through your bedroom window. Well, what do you see? Isn't it obvious? I wanted to surprise my boyfriend for Christmas. Luckily, the plane landed before the storm started. Now, on to the second part of my surprise. But first, show me your festive mood. Hold on a second. No, 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 Mr. Grinch. Show me your Christmas spirit first. You had sparklers in your closet, didn't you? Light them up in front of this window. Sorry I didn't come to your home right away, but I had to prepare something. You'll see it for yourself soon. You didn't fall asleep there, did you? Sorry, Mark, but tonight you won't get much sleep. Find sparklers in the closet of your bedroom, and I'll tell you the good news. Try looking for them in the bedroom closet. I'm pretty sure I saw them in there.
If you find the sparklers, light one of them up by the bedroom window so I can see it. There it is! Now I can feel the Christmas spirit! Alright, here's the second part of the surprise. Do you remember that French wine you wanted to buy? Until you saw the price tag? Today? We'll try it out! I also got some fireworks. So, take your sparklers and come over. Let's celebrate Christmas together! By the way, I brought you a present. Did you get me something too? Come on, don't pretend that you haven't planned something. I know that you were preparing for the holidays even before my trip. It's probably already under the tree, so take your secret gift and come over. The longer you wait, the greater the chance that I'll drink all the wine by myself. Take your gift and come to see me. It's under the tree, isn't it? Are you sure that you have a present? Mark, I won't be upset if you didn't buy one. It's just... Well, I thought it was going to be a special night. Look under the tree, okay? I'm getting tired of waiting, Mark. Grab the gift and come over. I'll like anything you bought for me, so don't worry about it. If you found the gift, come see me already. Did you leave the house? It's easy to get lost in this weather. Follow the light, handsome. I'm waiting for you. <laughs>
Where are you? Did you sink into the snow? Hurry up, I'm getting tired of waiting. A mess. I just cleaned. Wait, I was standing at the door and I didn't see you coming. Hey Santa, it looks like you broke into the wrong house. Get out of there before you get... Honey, are you there? I see.
Mark, stop scaring me. I know that you're here. I found the Christmas tree that you knocked over. And why did you take off its decorations? Do you even know how long it took me to decorate it? Wait, where are you? Mark, if you're still in someone else's house, you need to get out of there. And you need to explain what's going on. Mark, have you been drinking? If this is some stupid prank, I... Wait. I heard something. Mark? Is that you? Sweetie, where are you? Let's celebrate together!
aren't you? We can decorate the tree! Stop running away. Why are you hiding? We are made for each other. We must be together.
It's all some stupid prank, Mark. Moving corridors? What nonsense! I saw your friend in the window, and I, I know she's just hiding somewhere. She just moves really fast, and that's it. It's nothing special. Let's just assume that I believe you. First, tell me where you are now. What's going on with you? Of course. You accidentally found my stuff in someone else's house. Mark, do you think I'm an idiot? God. Fine. You said I need to hide. I'll do that, and then... I heard something. Anywhere, I will be right back. Definitely not a prank. She isn't human. I'm fine. I was hiding just like he said. I had time to prepare before she found me. I, uh... I launched fireworks at her. It seems to have scared her off. I don't think she likes bright lights. Try to find something similar. Maybe that'll help you. Okay. 
We'll get through this. We have to get through this. Mark, she can come back at any moment. What should I do? I'll try. Oh, God, I hope it works. I'll try to call the police, but I don't think they'll arrive here fast enough in this weather. One more thing. Please, be safe.